uh, a new angel entered into my life today, and it's Yesodel. He has also a concomitant part of Yesod um, Yah. But the angel, being Yesod El, um, entered in, and you know when I woke up, and I, I don't, I didn't know why. I don't know why. And then but let's recognize that we're in the month of Maheshvan. It's one of those strange months that have two names attached to it. These two names, Mar and Heshvan, sometimes go together as one name. Sometimes they don't leap, they, they don't put the name Mar in with Heshvan. And they just call it Heshvan alone. For now, I wanted to do Mar Heshvan. Why do they call it Mar Bitterness? Uh, they've you know, sometimes they say it's because there are no holidays in Heshvan. Of course, in a real deep sense, it's higher than the holidays. We had a whole month of holidays in Tishri, and this is the culmination, and it's, it's higher than that. And I've done a video way before called Heshvan is Yom HaKippurim, the whole month is deep. And then I just happened to see that they, some of the Kabbalists in the past have switched the letters from Mar, from Bitter to Ram, high. So it's like really high. And then, well, I've done this before, but I just happened to do it this morning. And the whole question of doing the gematri of Ma. 240. It should, it's interesting because I think that's ma kak. Uh, mm. Mem kuf kuf. I think that's a cockroach, which has a, another familiar meaning for me, for us. And, but the Um, gematria of Ma itself, Mem, full written out, Mem, 80, and Resh, 500. That's 580 plus two letters for Mem, two letters for uh, Resh, that's 584, plus two words, Mem as a unit, Resh as a unit, that's 586. 586 is that propitious number that today I'm analyzing it as Yesod. So am I surprised that I got Yesod fully spelt out is 586, same as Shofar, the number in Yerushalayim. However, for today, this Yesod, because I got this angel called Yesodel. And we're in the third day of Mar Heshvan. And so did it come from the aspect of Mar? And this Yesodel, just, just because it comes doesn't mean that it's why it is, but why is it my angel? It's not a common name, is it? It's a Hiddish, it's an innovation. It's come only for me. The gematria of Yesod El, just in itself, by the way, is Yesod is 80 and El is 31. That comes out to be, as one word here, as it comes out to be uh, 111, and that's Aleph. And in my symbol, the Aleph is in Yesod. The brain is in Yesod. The whole being, Keta, is in Yesod. And 
And so this yesod came to me like that. Now I have full gematrias here of yesod L, and a very strange thing, as I just said, that I think that Keta, well, Keta and Yesod have a tremendous relationship, but I did the full gematria of Yesod L, and it comes out to be seven, um, uh, well, let me, let me just see, 771. And strangely enough, that's the same gematria as Keta, Chokmah, and Bina together. 620 for Keta, 73 for Hokma, 67 for Bina is 771. So this Yesod El is found in the upper brain for Keta, Hokma, and Bina, in the upper three. And that upper brain comes down into the Yesod El. And we find in our body this higher aspects of Keta Hokma Bina through Yesod, which wouldn't be a surprise to Sigmund Freud, would it? And the whole idea of sexuality. There's some other things here because remember I told you there's a friendly angel from the uh, from Hokma, because that's where this one comes, uh, uh, Yesod El comes from Bina, but from Hokma comes Yesod Ya. And if you do that fully spelt out, Yesod is 586, and Ya, Yud is 20, He is, is, is um, 6, that's 26, that's 586, and 26, that's 612. And that's the bris. Brit, bris is 612. Again, another yesod component. And this is a direct tie-in between Hokma and yesod, which is known. So there's a great secret here. The secret is appearing for me now in Hezvan, Ma Hezvan. And that's why this Ma Hezvan is, is related to Yesod in this way. And an opening up of energy and an unfolding of energy. Which is the deepest secret because Hezvan is also the Nahash Remember, those are the three letters that are incorporated in Heshvan, along with the Vav, which is another phallic symbol. So this snake, which is obviously a phallic symbol, this Nahash, has the same gematria as Mashiach, because one has to learn how to utilize this sexual energy and bring up the Yesod energy, up, to Keta, Hokma, and Bina. And when that occurs, then the intellectual aspect, which is dry, becomes a tree. From the sap of the Yesod energy. Sap's a good word for it. So again, now I have a lot of other gematria because down in, let me just give you this. Down in Yesod, which, as I said in the previous video, actually just today, has relationship to Netzach and Hod as testicles and penis, as hips and center. And those three together, of Netzach, that's 148, Hod 15, and Yesod 80, come together as 300, 200, um, 
243, which is Avram. And this Avram is, you know, from El Shaddai, but Avram um, is Avraham before the hay. Now, what is this hay? Hay, by the way, is the opening up of the het on the eighth day. So this het is closed, and that's kind of like Avram. And then when the het becomes open, it becomes a hay. And that's when it's given to, to um, Avram to make him Avraham. One can think of this hay as a feminine, as a, as a Malkus or as a, a Nakuva. But in a certain sense, it's an, it's an opening of the children of Het. It's an opening. And that's given to him. But the original energy here is, is which produced Yis, uh, Yishmael, is 243, and that's Netzach Hod and Yesod. This 243 goes along that's good enough for now. But the whole idea is that, you know, I was going to give this thing about the, my angel, this angel that came to me, Yesodel and his friend Yesod Yah. But it's even deeper than that in a certain sense. It's in the month. It's in Hejvan. You see? So it's come to me as Yesodel. How has this come to you? Because we may not share Yesodel. But we share the month. We share the month of Hezvan, or Ma Hezvan, or Ma Hezvan. So this energy is circling, circling, circling us, enveloping us, and for me it's come to Yesodel. Obviously, there's going to be a lot more to say during Heshvan.